go away now Try till you miss it Then just go on back around This is the story of how I grew popcorn at home. But first, let's make some popcorn. This is actually the popcorn I grew. Here it is a few months ago. The story starts last spring when I ordered a planter from Amazon. Before that though, I started the seedlings off in little pods and then in solo cups. And then I thinned them out once I planted them in the in the full planter. I should preface this, I'm a very mediocre gardener. What is this? Amazingly, my popcorn took off. And after a few weeks, the plants were almost as tall as me. It took about three months to get from seedling to tassels. And that was really exciting. Oh by this point, the leaves were as wide as a microwavable bag of popcorn. And as I pour the popcorn, you can see that I grew mushroom popcorn, which I just find to be very versatile. So I live in Washington, D.C., and we don't have a climate that's conducive for growing your own popcorn. So I did have to build a small greenhouse, actually a large greenhouse, and I even had to cut the lid off the top of the greenhouse after the popcorn outgrew the space I had set aside. Popcorn typically grows to about 9 feet, but I was fortunate enough to have 11 foot tall popcorn uh, by August. Timing is really critical when determining when to harvest your popcorn. You should look at the leaves shooting off from the lowest ear of corn. If the outside is brown, but the inside still has a channel of green, that's the opportune moment. I got all, I got all the fucking work I need. I got all, all the fucking work I need. I got all, all the fucking work I need. I got all, the fucking work I need. I got all, the fucking work I need. I So here we are. Here's the popcorn. After about 60 days of hang drying, you're going to end up with something like this. I ended up with five large cobs and a few little ones like this. Kind of funny. I'll show you two ways to store your popcorn. The first is as a cob. Uh, so just score the ends and snap them right off. And we're going to set those aside to bag in a second. The other method is to decob your popcorn and store it as kernels, which is pretty common. All you have to do is grab the popcorn and twist, and the kernels will fall right off. It's very satisfying. Oh, that's satisfying. Yeah. Each cup of popcorn produced roughly a half cup of kernels. Bagging is very easy. All you need is a vacuum sealer, and you can get that on Amazon. I'll link the one that I bought below. All you do is place the popcorn in the bag, place it in the vacuum sealer, and press down. It sucks the air right out, and when the air has been removed, the sealer will kick in and heat the bag until it is fully sealed. Once it's sealed, the machine will turn off, and all you need to do is press the center button to complete your homegrown popcorn. Thanks for watching. This is a store bought cob of popcorn. Here's my popcorn. You can see there is a significant size difference because mine is better.